It's Wednesday, August 12th, and this is a little bit different twist on the Alaskan Overlander series. I guess this would be episode 11, but it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Both my worlds collide, and I have used my rig as a hunting rig, the Overlander rig as a hunting rig. So I apologize to those Overlanders who aren't into hunting or whatever, but I got to tell you the truth. The whole reason that I got this rig is because I'm an outdoorsman at heart and I wanted to be able to hunt and fish out in the wild and be comfortable and just drive to crazy places and pop my tent up and just hunt and fish. And man, that, that's what I did. I'm already going to my favorite places. So uh, our family did the Nelchina. I didn't personally have the tag, but I had a family member with the Nelchina subsistence caribou tag. And we drove to the Denali Highway. First time I've taken this truck to the Denali Highway. Uh, it was amazing. We just ran up this crazy berm, parked at the top of this little hill that, you know, most people couldn't drive up and uh, found a new place to hunt. Uh, there wasn't any caribou in, but we can go back in a few weeks. The, the hunt is still going on. They just weren't, the caribou hadn't really hit the Denali Highway or they had for the youth hunt and then they left. But anyways, that's, that's my dream is to be able to hunt and fish. And I, I was just so comfortable. Um, I'm able to carry a lot of gear. As far as ATV trails, uh, I need a little bit more recovery gear and I need a better suspension. So next year is going to be the year where I really go out and do some crazy stuff. Um, I watch Nutty News 4x4 channel. He's an Alaskan guy. He's got this forerunner that's jacked up and they'll go out to Eureka and hunt that same caribou herd, but they will drive off road. And he literally took his forerunner driving down the middle of a river with water coming up over his hood for one little section. And that's kind of the stuff I'd like to do. Maybe not quite that extreme, but maybe a little bit. I wouldn't mind doing some stuff like that. So obviously I need a snorkel and just some other stuff. But just to be able to get on some caribou the way they did, uh, just amazing. So yeah, really comfortable on the Denali Highway. Um, I recommend it just if if you're not a hunter and you've got an overland rig, go up there. Um, this was a time where the Rotopax came in handy because uh, we were going back and forth and I would have ran out of gas. You know, that thing's like 130, 40 miles long with no gas stations, except on one very end. And with all the running around I was doing, I would have ran out of gas. So the Rotopax saved me there. I'm going to get some more Rotopax. Um, you know, I'll probably have like four of them. Give me an extra half tank of gas, but feel good today. You know, I've had a good night's sleep, freshly showered and shaved, washed the truck for the first time in a long time. And I got the new decals on there. So that's a short episode for this week where we might get into some more camping here pretty soon, but I'm going to, it's fall time. So it's outdoors time. So unfortunately you might see more of this outdoorsman sporting stuff, but uh, I'm just going to take it as it goes and we'll keep producing Overlander videos for the next couple months. All right. Thanks guys.
Mr. Cantwell, but the gas station's closed. Nice layer of...